Okay. Does it want me to rest? I believe it actually does. The companions took time to rest, equip themselves, and chat. Yoshka told of his true reason for being there. King Valkar is a tyrant and a bore, but he does offer a nice reward. Nine wives of his finest soldiers have been kidnapped, now slaves to King Breck in this very castle. Many knights, including said nine fight soldiers, have been sent to rescue them. Guess how many have returned? None? None. You can tell Vakar is really desperate if he resorts to the likes of me for such things. I heard a rumor he's down to one young knight, and you know none of this. I know it sounds crazy, but I'm literally following my dreams. Yoshka listened to his new associate's tale with a mix of great interest and charmed disbelief. It's really interesting. So a deer showed up in your dream, and it led you here? Well, I did have the dream several times. And you just walked on into a sunken castle, not knowing what to expect, because a deer in your dreams told you to come here? Right. Yet evil frogmen surprise you. <laughs> when you put it that way... Uh, the narrator actually sounds like Rekka. Thinking about it. As they encountered their first trial, the companions marveled at the intricate system of levers and gated pitfalls. Surely the work of a madman. It felt right at home in this cursed place. Who builds a castle with gated pitfalls in the ground? An ancient tactic to confine groups of prisoners and creatures to specific areas. You seem pretty familiar. You could say that. Ah. Gotcha. Okay. Okay, it seems like this game is gonna be puzzle. Uh, probably like sort of puzzle heavy. Whoa, stop. Well, it's a good thing they forcibly stopped me. I was just holding the, uh, stop, uh, the, uh, I was just pushing forward. There you go. That's what I'm trying to say. Yeah. No, I don't really trust this. But I guess I have no absolute choice. What to trust it? Get back on here, which will probably. Yeah, there you go. I understand. Let's do this again, shall we? That hurt. Well, maybe I should look down just a little bit. I wasn't really fully paying attention. TBH. And all that health we got from uh resting at the campfire. Just because I didn't bother to look down for a split second. Ah, uh, okay, I see. I see what happened. I looked at it from a slight angle. Hey, I look at that. that was actually one of these things. The one who follows a deer to certain doom actually has a brain in their head. Okay, it's a good thing they're all attacking him. Target HP. Poison. We can receive returns. This is. He is sleeping, this is freezing cold. Okay. I'm gonna have him heal himself up. Uh, let's see. Might as well, right? Yeah, freezing cold is just all powerful. There you go. 
I just wanted to lower his health down just a smidge so freezing cold will take his life on the next turn. Are you here to save us? Who? What now? Heal party. Select and use your herbalism from the quick access interface. Huh. Could you help us? Use spells and potions during exploration. Upgrade your characters or find recipes to get new spells and potions. How do I use it? Actually. Is it the A button? The B button? The X button? For some unnatural reason, I can't use it. Oh, okay, so it's people. Okay, so those are those. Gotcha. But let's see, let's go here. Let's see what these do. Yeah, I need more defense than he does. There's an item in there. Okay. Yeah, there must be a key to free these women. Okay, there's only supposed to be three people for oh, well, You're one. the first ones not to die fighting those frogmen. Thank you. That key should help you too. The we won't forget this. I promise. Six more till riches. Come on. Well, I accidentally pressed the A button, TBH. Whoops. It happens from time to time. But I only skip my character's dialogue. Aha! And this is why we have this. A law. Let's see. I love. Okay, the way out is clear. You should be able to exit through the front. See? What's this? Fish ship. Might as well get that to him. Might as well. Right? He has more use for it than I do. Anything else? No. Nope. Why do I have a dagger? Set up a staff. Makes sense. Oh good, oh good. I'm not gonna question it that much. Get all these things. Common enemy, Zoldek. Ever since the castle sank 20 years ago, I've heard the uh, silly legend of King Breck soldiers turning into frog warriors as it happened. I never believed, uh, never believe it until now. But there's no denying it. Zoldek warriors are real. Yes, they seem to have lost all sense of humanity. Can they even communicate? But at the same time, it's quite remarkable what capable fighters they remain. I wage they're even more deadly than they were as humans. The smell alone is worth ten styles from Sable. A saber of the sunken castle at the No matter what the reward, no man in his right mind will ever enter this uh, forsaken sunken castle of King Brick. But hey, I'm Milska. That's never stopped me before. I remember hearing the news of what happened here some 20 years ago. It's quite more, uh, it's really quite unbelievable. But again, again, here I am within his walls writing this. Funny how battling a sword wielding man sized frog has a tendency to add val uh, validity to things. There are two rich uh, rival brothers, Breck and Bakar, both building their own castle and declaring themselves king. Though both built impressive armies, their biggest war was one upmanship. Continue to build onto his castle on the lake was one of Brig's way of accomplishing this. While Brig was improving his castle, he called upon the stonemason yield to make some additions. Happy tried, uh, happy them thank for some of the castle's eccentrics. Uh, uh, I'm not even, can't, can't think. Sorry. Perhaps, but I feel like, uh, I feel there's something is more. Yeah, I probably do need to go to sleep. It's actually really difficult for me to read this entire thing. This current moment of time. 
Part of me wonders if they actually conspire with King Bagar, who one day boasted to Breck that he had managed to cure this place, or curse this place. He said all of it would take was the tears of young maiden submerged the castle into the lake. Breck called what he perceived to be Bakar's glove for one of his own peace offering. It did not take long for him to summon all the young women in Bakar's kingdom to a celebration that would represent the truce between the two kingdoms. Bakar obliged, but opted to stay home, still encouraging any in his kingdom to attend should they feel so inclined. The celebration dinner was delicious and full of great cheer, but then came time for a special surprise. To the horror of all guests, Breck told the 12 most beautiful female guests to be attached to his carriage as though they were horses, forced to guide his carriage from the castle gates into Bakar's kingdom as a sign of superiority. Do you think this will make them cry? Or was, was what he instructed all who returned hard to tell him. However, the horse maidens never made it past the drawbridge, and would have moved the carriage very far at all. The girls whipped and abused. As Breck's frustration mounted, one of them, Anna, finally cried, prompting the curse, promised by Picard to take effect. As the castle sank, all the, uh, all victims turned to swans and swam safely to shore. Anyone still alive either committed suicide, which, uh, either committed suicide or explained all the skeletons, all about the praise, or turned to the Zoldak warriors. I'm not sure what this meant for Breck. I suppose I'll find out soon. As we know about all that, we know about this too. Alright, now there's a hole. Oh! Yeah, probably wasn't the best idea, yeah? How am I not? I would like to use this ability, please, game. Keep taking super damage. Okay, upgrade your characters. Okay, go for it. So I can use herbalism from the quick access. Okay. 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 Yeah, I'm pressing the button. He has enough mana to do it, but why won't he do it? That's a real question. Ah, because I uh, did that. Well, free the princesses. This whole area. What a things. They're all filled in. Well, up. How did this castle sink? Is it actually cursed? So they say. It's a long story. Feel free to shut me up if you just want to move on with things. I won't mind. Happily. Can't say I blame you. Anyway, before King Vakar ruled these lands, he had a rival king, his brother, King Breck. Welcome to his castle. It's lovely. Though both kings built impressive armies, their biggest war was one upmanship. Breck was constantly adding on to his castle. He even had the legendary stonemasons guild contribute a few times. A couple of years into their pissing match, just about two decades ago. Fokar told Breck he had managed to curse this place, and all it would take were the tears of a young maiden to submerge the castle into the lake. Turning all his warriors to Zoldek as well, I presume. That's some curse. Exactly. Breck thought Vaka was bluffing, though. I mean, really, wouldn't you? So he decided to pull a bluff of his own. A peace proposal. A farce of a celebration took place at this very castle with many from Vakar's kingdom in attendance as well. Vakar himself chose to stay home, however. A wise decision. That party must not have ended well. Breck ordered everyone there from Vakar's kingdom head home with a message. That he had seized the kingdom's twelve most beautiful young women to serve him as horses with his chariot. Do you think this will make them cry? Was what he instructed all who returned to Vakar to tell him. But sadly, Vakar had not bluffed. Breck locked the young women's faces to mouthpieces designed for mighty steeds, whipped them, and ordered them forward. The first tier was shed just a few steps ahead. 
The lake around you is now known as the Lake of Anna and the Crier's name. Depending on whom you ask, the effect was immediate or took days. But you're looking at the ultimate result of it right now. I hope the innocent survived. They did. In fact, I heard Anna took the opportunity to leave the kingdom for good. Vakar is no saint when it comes to his own people either. Some even suggest the twelve women escaped by transforming into swans, until they peacefully swam back to shore. Well, you didn't just make that all up on the spot, did you? Oh, please. Alas, not even I am that clever. So essentially, I read all of that for nothing. I hope you don't think this is the beginning of some kind of legendary friendship. Soon as we get paid, I'm off. Well, you're the one welcoming me to this partnership, remember? Touché. I'm gonna advance for eight more minutes, see how far I can get, and then I'm gonna go. But I'm really, really tired. No, I'll make sure to rest by a campfire. Oh! Oh, that's how it was at. I figured out how to heal. You may be asking why why is this man not able to see this obvious Y button on the screen? Well, you see this game doesn't actually fit my TV, so most of my screen is cut off. But it was only now that I looked at my uh, chat that I was able to see the Y button. Go into the basement, shall we, and encounter some Zoldax with Skeleton. I've no other choice. Catch these hands, Skeleton. Catch these hands. He doesn't need rest, he doesn't have any mana. He's immune. Why wouldn't he be? Oh, never mind. I forgot. Ah, my magic does a little bit more damage now. He's dead. He's dead too. You could okay. use a resurrection spell now. We're close to leveling up. We got some rags and some sandals. Skeletons that fight like men. Maybe even better than men. Well, now we got a new journal entry, more than likely. Let's uh, put the sandals and stuff on real quick. Let's see what we got here. Evasion. Might as well get that to my guy. I need all the uh, defense that I can get. TBH. I'm just gonna get rolled. I think that's 1% defense, probably. Skeleton Knights. Many brave knights risk their lives in this forsaken fortress before the mighty bravery of uh, Yosuke and the kid. But where are the bodies? I think I know. I think we've been fighting them. As part of the curse that sunk this place to begin with, I'm willing to bet some wicked necromancy is attached, as in the kind that resurrects any potential rescuers of the castle of the castle captives. It resurrects them as new obstacles to anyone actually being rescued. Yet they still retain their skills as fighters, it seems. Oh, I'm so glad they all appear to be fallen knights too. No fighting skills in there. Uh, that one doesn't seem to be a knight though those two are not knights one's a knight one's an archer and one's a mage so we have to uh be mindful of that oh oh oh, oh he heard me he heard me oh my god oh my god
That's a thing. In there. I literally was not expecting that. I kid you not. And we might as well pump all our damage in him until he dies this turn. Okay, let's uh, use this defensive stance. Let's see. This seems to be a bullshit guy. Never mind, I lied. Oh, let's just use some basic attacks. Get our energy back. Oh, he's not dead. He's not dead. Yeah. Leather hat. Genuine fox hat. I've never seen such advanced necromancy at play. Fallen knights, perhaps? Do you know what? Let's do this. Level up a character. I actually think after I level up my character, this is where I'm going to stop. Because I cannot go on any further. As much as I would like to, because this game is actually pretty interesting. I am going to sleep, and I will continue this later on tonight. For a few guys, I don't know, seeing as this is a newer game, I'll post this day after day on my YouTube. Just with the amount of time I currently have, I should be able to record, uh, let's see, four, five, five, six, six, seven, eight, nine, like eight more hours worth of footage. And that'll be a total of 11 days worth of footage. So that should be good. But yeah, level up. You have reached level two. Maximum HP increases with each new level gain. And skills and spells will be slightly stronger. Besides this, you can spend a tile point and three attribute points on any character who has to gain a level. So I actually probably put my YouTube in the description of my uh Is this show up on my character? Doesn't okay. In the description of my uh Twitch. Spend tile points on actively prompting unique skills or on passive talent uh, bonuses. Talent points. Select one skill or bonus per level from three different branches and advance them as you play. Uh, you unlock block skills. Wisdom 15 plus 3. Lightning damage bonus plus 10. Intelligence plus 3. This is you. Oh yeah, so I can't actually increase. Mm, I don't really like the talent system, TBH. This will increase my overall damage though. So I might as well do that. Okay, that's uh go to Yoshka now. And upgrade those poison damage bonus plus five percent poison resistance intelligence any mini mighty mo catch a tiger right to tell everyone a little girl mama told me to pick this one right over here i might as well i did the whole shebang all that good stuff <laughs> Attribute points. Each time you level up, you can spend three attribute points between your five attributes freely. You can see how these changes affect your uh, character's uh, secondary set. Which I can't see because, you know, I can't actually see on my screen. But, I think, for the time being, I'm going to put some in the strength and some in agility. This is how the stat distribution is gonna go. Strength, agility, vigor. Depending. Yours is gonna be intelligence. I'll go ahead and bump that up to uh 20. Maybe it's a little bit more vigor, so I don't get utterly rumpled stomped by future enemies. Being rumpled stomped is not good. 
yeah. Just a hundred percent this immediate area, make sure there isn't any secrets. Like that one. A giant chest. Interesting. How do I actually get to it is the real question though. Hmm. Maybe there's some weird convoluted puzzle that I need to solve. Or maybe when we progress further enough, well, far enough. Is it campfire? No, it isn't. Ah, firewood. And maybe when we progress for our uh, farther, bleh, far enough. There you go. That's the correct uh, tense. These things open. I'm not sure why they would open, but you never know. Hang wait. Pick up. What? No keyhole. Haven't you learnt yet? Nothing is that simple in this place. Let's take a closer look at that contraption. But yeah, we'll do all this on the next stream I do of this game. For now, we're just gonna go back here into this building and save. I thought dragons were fiction. Do you think we'll actually end up face to face with one? They say that the dragon is actually King Breck's pet. There's a little more to it than that. I sense another story coming. Much more personal this time. You see. That dragon is Breck's prisoner because of me. I saved his daughter from it myself. What, you don't believe me? Not for a second. It's true. Well, my three brothers helped. Last time I ever saw them. Probably 30 years ago. A false sentimentality doesn't make it any more believable, Yoshka. A huntsman, a tailor, an astronomer, and a thief. Guess which brother impressed his father the least? The lying one? Huh. Not this time. We combined our skills to free the princess from the dragon. I never felt so close to them. We thought we had killed the damn thing. But alas, Breck felt compelled to nurse it back to health and keep it locked beside his throne room. Breck promised us each great lands in his kingdom as a reward. Funny how he never followed through there. He certainly had plenty of time to. Before becoming a frog, I mean. I'll play along. What became of your brothers? It's more a matter of what became of me. My reputation as a thief was harming them. They disowned me. I'd say you've got me now. But you haven't earned that yet. <laughs> well, who says I'd want to, dear dreamer? I actually really like the dialogue in this game. I'll save right here. Now you have to firewood. I'm gonna use the firewood to, uh... Too much, you know. Memo from the guard. Wait, who locks the door or waits? We are needed. I have one. Where I have not checked? Where have I not checked? Southern corridor. The western tower that must be there. At the king's break. Grand celebration. Also, explore these areas. It will be a day to remember. Complete quest activates. Find a way to get to the western section and save the captives from the unwarded terror. We have. Uh, six more. What was that you said about the skeletons being fallen knights? The best I can come up with is that we're fighting off the rescuers. When they died here, the curse turned them into skeleton warriors. How did anyone even get down here without your magic amulet to open the way? Do me a favor, would you? Stop worrying about anything making sense. I'm just gonna back out and go back in one more time, see if they have any extra dialogue. They do not. I'm just gonna save again. You know. Just in case you never know. How do I. Oh. I guess it saves and quits by itself. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you leave a like and possibly subscribe. 
It's up to you, but it helps more than you know. And if you have any suggestions for future videos, let me know down in the comments. But until then, I'll see everyone in the next part of my Operentia The Stolen Sun Let's Play. God, I'm tired. Gotta go eat something before I go, though.